Hi, I've just finished John Boyne's new novella. Um, it comes out... Ooh, I've forgotten. I think it's the beginning of November, but I'll stick it in the description box below. Um, it's called Water. Very short book, about 160 pages. And oh, I love John Boyne's writing. There are very, very few of his books that miss the mark for me. I mean, I, I just think he's great. Um, this one didn't disappoint, not at all. We've got Vanessa Garvin, who at the beginning of the book, she's leaving Dublin um, because her husband's just been jailed. And during the trial, the media circus have got her as being complicit in his crimes. So she needs to escape. And so she rents a cottage, a bleak little place, on an island off Galway. Um, she wants to cut herself off, go away from everybody, from the gossip, this, you know, the, the, the media circus that's getting her. Um, she wants she wants to take time to reevaluate and look back. It, you know, was she complicit? Did she was she part of this? Um, the first thing she does when she arrives, she shaves her head and she changes her name to Willow Hale. Willow Hale, and. Her isolation on the island is even more complete because her youngest daughter has cut her off, blocked her on social media, won't communicate. Uh, and her eldest daughter died some years ago. So she's alone. And she spends her days sleeping and walking and trying to have very little contact with the, the islanders. Um, there are some persist in, in getting to know her or trying to get to know her. And um, there's even a cat, <laughs> a cat who won't leave her alone. Um, she believes that she's chosen this island correctly because with intermittent Wi-Fi coverage, um, there is a huge chance that they will not have heard of the case that they won't recognise her, especially now she's shaved her head, and she'll be able to just live in anonymity. Um, her reactions, she has uh, interactions with the local priest and, and uh, two, or three, you know, several, two or three other people, and gradually they help her to trust herself, and gradually we know what her story is. Um, the theme that stands out at this for me is, okay, you've got the theme of water. Water is a recurring motive through, throughout. But the theme for me is um, the oppression of women by, by the husbands, um, their own plans for the future, their own ideas of self, are often thrown away because of the actions of the husbands, uh, the oppression that they they suffer at the hands of the husband. Not, not violence always. Not, you know, I'm not talking about violent abuse here. Uh, it's just the husband's actions that stop the wife doing, being herself. Um, it can be a dark read on this because the subject matter is, is dark, but there's a humour and lightness in here. Um, you know, the, the cat is gorgeous. I'd love the cat. Um, and it gets to you. And you want Willow to be your friend as well. You want to be Willow's friend. So, Water by John Boyne. I can't remember when it comes out, but look below and uh, happy reading. Take care.